Hello YouTube, this is Trusty777 and I know it's been a, a good while since I made my last video but I want to let you all know I have not given up on the faith, I have not given up for the fight of Yushua I mean, my faith and my love for Yushua has only grown stronger every day and there is no letting up, there is no turning back I mean, I want to make that clear, it's just right now Yahweh's got me attending some other ministry matters but um, today I want to get back out there and make this video because it's been brought to my attention that there's this woman on YouTube, her name is Renee Moses, and she has posted a date for the day that Yeshua is supposed to return. She says that God has given her all the pieces of the puzzle and it's all coming together and it's all going to work out and Yeshua's coming back on this day. Well folks, I'm making this video to let you know that's that's not true that's a wrong that's wrong to the fullest degree wrong can be and I'm saying this out of a love that I have for the sheep and lambs of Yushua because when people make a false date for Yushua it is really a serious matter especially because so many people are susceptible to that lie because even people with pure hearts and pure intentions, people who, who truly do love Yushua Jesus and there are just so many people who can fall to this deception it really is not a laughing matter. It's nothing to take lightly. You know, I know a lot of people say that this ministry is, is hard on others or it should not be rebuking sinners. Uh, they should be condoning sin because the grace of God has covered us. And, you know, I really don't understand where people get any of this nonsense from because if the whole world ran that way, if you were not allowed to rebuke sinners, if you're not allowed to warn when you see evil, think about what it would be like. Think about where you work. I'm sure everyone has had uh, someone at the workplace who, who has been rough with them, hard with them, and sometimes it may even got out of control where you had to go to your boss, talk something over. But what if you were never allowed to stand up to yourself to that person? That person was allowed to run you down your entire life, just bully you, taunt you, call you whatever names, blame shift, whatever they wanted to you. And you were never allowed to call it out because the grace of God covers the human race and anyone who proclaims to be Christian. Uh, that is not true in the least. In the truth, one who is Christian has a greater accountability to live holy and live for you so the one who is not. You know, if if people just said, let let people sin all they want and we should never correct them, well, why why stop Hitler? Why, why should anyone ever call him out for being wrong? Why not just let him continue to kill people? That's why you stop sin. That's why you, whenever you see something wrong, you speak it forth. You don't, you don't let people walk over. You don't let people walk over the sheep and lambs of Yeshua. That's not what you do, and that's not what I'm going to let happen. And so whenever I heard about this Renee Moses woman, and she is here posting this wrong date of Yeshua's coming, and I know how many can be deceived by that. You know how many people can be hurt. And worse, whenever Yeshua doesn't come on that day because he's not, I know how many people's faith can easily be crushed from that because they put their hope in that Yushua is coming back on this day and they, they believe this person, Renee, that she's speaking for Yushua. And so when it doesn't happen, the devil's right there to say, well, Yushua lied and Yushua's never coming back. And this whole Yushua thing, you just need to stop. You need to get on with your life because you, you got a long life ahead of you and eternity is still far away. You, you, you still don't worry about that yet you need to worry about the bills about the car about your house whatever it is that's what you need to focus on you know and a lot of people right then and there they give up they let go they feel lied to betrayed hurt I mean that's a serious matter and so I'm making this video to rebuke Renee Moses and Yushua's name for this false date that she's posted I mean this is ridiculous and if she was honestly deceived you know, I'd, I'd, I'd almost feel, I'd feel more compassion for her. I'd feel like I, I would be reaching out, I'd want to help her out. But after the emails that she has written this ministry, I can guarantee you folks, this woman is not just deceived. This woman knows what she's doing, and that's what makes it worse than anything. She, she is out there to try to deceive the sheep in Lamshua put their faith up toward a, a false day and when it all crushes down and crashes down she's there to soak in the glory and who's she giving glory to her father the devil and she knows it and I mean I know many of you are thinking right now it's a hard thing to put on someone well I don't know if you guys have been over to the Amada One website yet and seen the emails that she has sent but I'm gonna put some screenshots up here and talk about them a little bit but these emails that she sent us okay she sent an email first 
accusing the ministry of putting up a video against her that we never did. Now first, I don't mind that someone put up a video exposing her false date. That's that's not, I'm not against that video, I will say that. But we had no part in that video. And before you come to a ministry and accuse us of doing something, you better make sure you got proof to back it up. And she has no proof. She has nothing. The only thing that she can say is it is our video. Well, I can say your hair is blue. Does that make it blue? No. She has no proof or evidence behind what she's saying. The next things that she does and the emails she's sending are just delusional and strange. Um, first, she's talking about the video we never made, how it's our video. And then to keep on going, she starts to say how she has somehow gotten this idea of this false dated rapture from Almighty One Ministry ourselves. It is clear on our website, and it is clear in all of our videos and everything we've ever posted about the rapture, that our belief is that Yeshua will come back on a Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year's, the head of the year, and it will be on a Sabbath. This date range, January 21st to 24th, that, that is nothing near the Jewish New Year, okay? That's nowhere near Rosh Hashanah, and that's not even on a Shabbat. So where she can even claim that this ministry has given her the idea for these false dates, there's no proof. There's nothing. She's delusional, and she's trying to, to shift the blame, shift the fault on someone else, because she already knows she's wrong. She she already knows it. She already knows all of her calculations. Everything. It's a lie. It's a lie that she has set up to try to deceive the people of Yeshua. And if it if it stopped right there, I might still say she was deceived. You know, innocent to proven guilty. I truly like that motto. I don't want to go accuse someone until I know that I know. But when you keep reading down those emails, you know that you know this lady does not serve Yeshua. At the very end, after the leadership of this ministry, preferably Apostle Nico, has been writing her and just clear-cutting, showing it's night and day how her lies are not adding up. She flips. Her, her lies are over. She can't say anything else. So all of a sudden, she gets this, thus saith from the Lord, and she says, F you, and pretty much blasts Dad Nico and... Yusha doesn't speak like that, guys. He doesn't tell F someone for, for when they're trying to stand up for the truth, when they're trying to obey. That's that's not the voice of Yusha. That's the voice of Satan trying to condemn. And then after that, she sends an attachment of a so-called flyer that she has made to represent this ministry that she has claimed to send out to thousands of people through some email chain. And that attachment... I'll put it here on the screen, and before I do, I plead the blood of Yusha over this in Yusha's name. And I'm going to warn you guys, it's vile. And if you don't want to see it, skip ahead about 10 seconds. But this is the attachment for all who are just curious and wanting to know. Like I said, no born-again believer in Yusha is going to dare do something like that. I don't know if she found that picture on the internet. I don't know if she took the time to put Yusha's face on those two homosexuals. Really, I don't. <laughs> but it, it, it doesn't matter. For her to send that attachment and take the time for her to write the ministry's name down at the bottom, she is trying to bash this ministry. And honestly, it's one of the stupidest attempts I've ever seen. Because all it does is expose herself. This ministry has no part in any of this. We have no part in this false date. And it is just my desire to let people know that this is not this ministry supporting this false date. And when it's wrong and when it doesn't happen, it is not us who said it was going to happen. It is this Renee Moses woman who I pray that Yavi silences her mouth for the sake of the sheep and lambs in Yushua's name. Because this woman is, she is lying through her teeth to try to deceive Yushua's true sheep and lambs. And that is a matter that I take very seriously. And anyone who loves his brother as a self should take that seriously as well. If you care about your friend, you're not going to let them walk off a cliff. You know? If you don't care about them, you let them. 
so for anyone to tell me that I'm wrong in rebuking this woman, basically what you're telling me to let happen is for people to walk off this cliff. If anyone doesn't believe me, if someone believes that the pieces of the puzzle really fit, we'll see. We'll see on January 21st to 24th who's right and who's wrong. And I guarantee you, you is not coming back on that day. So please, people, do not be deceived by this lie. If you have any questions, feel free to write me. I'm one of the youth ministers for Mighty Women Ministry. Feel free to write the leadership. Um, any of Yusha's YDS, and we'll be happy to explain more. We'll be happy to explain what we believe about the rapture, um, why we believe it is the way that it is, and we're not here to play games. We're not here to try to manipulate. We're not here to set you up for false things. Or Our true hope is to lead one soul to Yusha, and if one soul is ever led to Yusha by anything that we do, well, then everything we've ever done has been worth it. That's That's the bottom line. No matter what these enemies do, no matter what blasphemous weird lies that these people come up with I don't even I don't even know how you could try to lie like that I mean <laughs> just no matter whatever happens if one soul is saved by the works we've done it's all worth it in the end and I love you all very much who watched this video have taken the time to support and encourage this ministry pray those of you who have been following this ministry but who have not written or reached out to it, I pray you do write today in Yushua's name because there's a whole lot we want to share with you the new sheep and lambs of Yushua I truly love you all so much. You should bless you. And until next time, this is Trusty I 777.